Welcome to the TC30 TC01 training video for the blotter technique. For thin materials, the total test time must be determined so that the heat from the sensor does not penetrate through to the other side. This will ensure a linear temperature rise within the sample. To determine your allowable test time, place the sample in question on top of the sensor followed by the blotter weight. As you will notice, the blotter weight has a conductive side as well as an insulative side. The thermal conductivity difference will give us the, devi the time deviation as the heat passes through the sample into each side of the blotter weight. To initiate the first test, click Test, Run, and name the sample Blotter1. Open the calibration test.cal and click the Start Material Test button. Now we need to save this test by clicking Test, Save As, name this file Blotter1. Now you can flip the blotter weight onto its other side. Repeat the first step, but name this file Blotter2. Click the Start Material Test when you're ready. Now we're ready to save this file. Save this one as Blotter2. Now we're ready to overlay these two tests to determine the deviation point. Click Test Retrieve and open the first file Blotter1. Then click Test Add and open the file Blotter2. For best resolution, zoom in on the curves. Locate the deviation point between the two curves. This is your total test time. Remember, it is the square root of time you're determined.